awkward. Now, Marinko, damn it, I told you this was to be a wider shot. Come on, Marinko, what's going on? Now, is it OK to swear on television? <laughs> this is what we're asking this morning. That is the question being asked in the UK over the foul-mouthed antics of top chefs Gordon Ramsay and Jamie Oliver. There have been calls in England for less swearing on TV, but now the boss of Channel 4, the network the two are shown on, says, I understand why people feel strongly about it, but when both of them use, uh, quote, fruity language, it's a real and authentic expression of how they feel at the time. So so we are asking this morning, is there any problem with swearing on TV if there are warnings at, and it's in an appropriate time slot? So basically that bloke, the boss, is saying that it's, uh, you needn't have any self-control whatsoever. It, it, you know, it, just let it all hang out at any time, don't care about anybody anybody else or their feelings or their views or anything. I think what he's saying is in context, you know, if it's a 9.30pm program and Gordon Ramsay uh, is like that, then he's free to... Yeah. But that's away. his shtick, isn't it? That's what he's sort of his known stick. for. So well, if you're swearing. Well, yeah, if you're going to watch a Gordon Ramsay program, you've, surely you're going to expect... You know, that he's going to swear, he's a, that's, he's a volatile character, that's it. And it's not on at, um, in kids' programming. So you turn off, don't you? Mm. It still makes you cringe, though, doesn't it? Like, oh, if, no. you, if you hear a, a bad word, no matter when or where, just on TV, it's just... Oh, it's but, then, right. but then, OK, you say after 9.30... Oh, whatever the time A lot of it, there, there have been shows at 8.30, and right on 8.30, at the start of shows, I can think of one crime show about Melbourne gangland... Um, murders that had full frontal bonking, did, sideways bonking, at, you, right at eight thirty, and I thought, did Ooh. you think a show about Melbourne gangland murders would be, you know, hi, how are you going? You know, <laughs> <laughs> what did you expect it to be about? Surely there's going to be sort of, you know, rude bits, swearing, a few gunning yeah, but down. Then it comes straight on after a sort of a normal. After sort 50 of, ads, because sort of they promo it so much, you know it's coming on, I think. All right, so you're happy for swearing? At certain times, I think it's fine, if you know it's coming up. 8.30. Well, yeah, it's prime. I mean, shows like okay. that are... There's, there are a few warnings right. that they're coming on. You right, should see her in the commercial breaks, everybody. <laughs> oh, she goes off. Oh, she gives us hell. Oh, come on. Well, on oh, another censorship issue. Works on the walls. Come on, it's me now, me now, <laughs> me now. Australia's mandatory internet filter is being primed to block 10,000 websites as part of a blacklist of unspecified, unwanted content. This is in addition to the 1,300 sites identified by the Australian Communications and Media Authority. Things like, obviously, child pornography will be blocked, but other sites determined as unwanted content will also be blocked. Now, trials will begin before Christmas. Guys, this is a... Is this a good thing for democracy? Does this kind of censorship have the potential to go too far? Who polices this stuff as well? I mean, do we know what, they're, what they are blocking? Well, I think that's the point. I don't mind blocking as long as we know who polices it and what they are blocking and maybe we can have some feedback on it. Yeah, because you don't want it to go too far no. and no, there no. is freedom of speech and expression yeah, in this exactly. country. So, we'll yeah. think about that later. So, thank you, Simon. 19 past six.